Thank you. I really started when I was four. When I went with a Sunday school teacher up to Belk's department store and I was thirsty and I went to the nearest water fountain and my teacher who was with me snatched me away in terror and I couldn't figure out what was it about. This is not a part of my planned remarks, it's 60 years. Oh, yeah. um, but at any rate, she told me that that was the white drinking fountain and I couldn't do it and I got so upset and I took my little psyche home, complained to my mother but then I found that I would go around to the different segregated stores and I would switch the signs <laughs> so that, um, because I don't think God made black and white water fountains or black and white water. And God did not make two classes of children. And we in America will continue to let that be our creed too often at our peril. My parents taught me if you see a need that you should not ask why somebody doesn't do anything. Why doesn't somebody do something? Why don't you do something? And they did it and we do it as a part of following their example and I just want to thank Deborah Kenny for stepping up to the plate to do something about what needed to be done for children and all of you for supporting them. So really support them as generously as you can. You've seen these wonderful children. And last, I just want to share one of my, a statement from one of my role models from Harlem, Samuel DeWitt Proctor, who for many years was the head of Abyssinian Baptist Church, and he's been a very big light in my life. And he talked about growing up and being born above the scratch line, but having so many children in his neighborhood who were born below the scratch line. And he says, we don't all start at the same scratch line, although there's one original position, hypothetically, for everybody. You were born here owing nothing, having earned nothing, just born. There you are helpless and indebted to everybody. But some of us opened our eyes and saw nothing but blessings just dumping on us. I opened my eyes and there were my parents, Herbert and Thelma, my grandma, Hattie, born a slave, smiling on me. How in the world could I lose? Taught me how to read and sing four-part harmony before I got to school taught me how to play the clarinet and the piano and made me go to Sunday school. Daddy didn't send us, he took us to Sunday school. And there was nobody in the Sunday school but one person, that would have been my daddy with his little six children there in the Sunday school at the Bank Street Baptist Church. That's what I inherited. Didn't earn it, you can't get that with a visa card, it was given to me. Now through all my neighborhood, there were other young fellows, daddies, and were not always present. They didn't read in their homes. Nobody went to Sunday school, none of that. They started life below the scratch line. I started life way above the scratch line. And everywhere I went, someone said, aren't you Miss Hattie's grandson or Herbert's boy? Everything smiling on me. Finished high school at 15, went on to college and a scholarship. None of that did I deserve. I hadn't earned any of it. I started out with a head of steam. My parents gave all that to us in great abundance and my buddies up the street had none of that. Now if you want these bones to live again, this is a sermon he preached down at CDF Haley Farm. Those of us who have inherited benefits that we did not earn or deserve need to turn around and help those who inherited deficits that they did not earn or deserve and help them to rise up to the scratch line where we are so that they may earn and enjoy all the benefits that we must not continue to just take for granted. Can these bones live again, Lord? Sam Proctor said, yes, these bones can live, but only if you and I take a stand to close the gap between those who have and do not have, those who are not educated and who have education. And that's why I'm so grateful to you tonight and that's why I'm so proud of my son, Jonah for selfing up to stand for children. I couldn't have done this march without him, and I'm so grateful, and I thank you. And I thank all of you for what you do.